Hello again, we're back here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to week three of the Simple to Stunning Layout Design class. This week, we're all about the horizontal. So week one, we did the L design. Week two, we did vertical and now we're on to horizontal. So I pulled out this paper pad. I have no embellishments or any idea, but this is the simple. This is the first in our series. So you don't need a lot of things. And I'm gonna show you how you can basically just use this one paper pad that I have and create a fabulous layout. I pull in some gems and a couple sticker sheets and that is all we're gonna use today. So now my plan was originally to go ahead and fussy cut out a whole bunch of that. Yeah, I didn't do that. I didn't, you can do that to get the embellishments that you need, but you guys, I'm running out of time to get videos completed before I leave for vacation. So we had to go ahead and nix the cutting. So right here, I am going to cut, and that is gonna be like a four and a half inch strip, maybe five. I'm gonna hear that down to that fun back, background paper there. Spoiler alert. I pull it back up because I want to do a vertical, not a vertical, da da da, a horizontal band of a whole bunch of pictures that I have recently found of my little boy when he was a little boy, and I will show you them. I'm going to trim them all up. They were things that I had cut and put in picture frames and such, and they're of him of all different ages through the years when he was just a little guy. So I trim those all up and I'm going to basically fill that entire horizontal band with pictures of him. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and back them on this entire cut apart sheet. So you will see that I'm going to just get them down. I do fussy cut and trim them out. Um, I will roughly trim them up, but I'm just trying to get them with a nice little backing and this is another fun way to use these cut apart sheets um obviously this says baby shower and baby's first year and all of that good stuff i didn't need all those because some of these he is not a baby <laughs> so i'm going to use these as just borders now if you are playing along with us and have been we do have a facebook group for this class Come on over, join the Facebook group. It will be linked down below. Share your work. Um, there will be albums for each week and each day so you can see what everybody's created and how we step it up. Um, so like I said, this is class one of the horizontal week. It's a very simple layout on Tuesday, which is tomorrow. We will have an upgraded version. And then on Wednesday, it will be the studying where we throw everything in it. But each day we just add a little bit more. I'm going to go ahead and trim that one down just a little bit more with my scissors. <clears throat> it has lines on it, so I just go ahead. I'm going to use that as like a little journaling spot. And we're going to get these all down on here. And I absolutely love it. So it's like a big photo montage cluster when we get done. Um, so a few things. I will have links down below to my Close to My Heart channel if you guys would like to. Channel. My Close to My Heart website if you would like to pick anything up. I will have my Brutus Monroe affiliate link if you would like to pick anything up from them. That wonderful glass board that I am working on, I have a 20% off code down below if you'd like to pick anything up. And here we are adding the bigger strip. And that's just because I realized after I got all the photos matted that it wasn't going to fit. And I would like to try to contain them within that little yellow piece. And I'm going to, I fussy cut out that twinkle twinkle little star that is going to serve as the center focal point of my little band here. And you'll see, I am just going to pop them all in and around, kind of get a layout that I like. And then I will move a couple of them around so that I can definitely make sure that they are all going to work. But I just went through my little sticker book, pulled out some whales and some farm animals and just some like, you know, little boy stuff. I am liking the way that that looks. So I'm gonna start adhering these guys down. Now the one picture of Sam, uh, when he's in the, the one he's in the lion suit, the one right above that, I will trim that one off just a bit. You guys know like I really like to overhang some things. So um, that is gonna be the one thing that I use to ground my layout. And I'm just lightly tacking those down. I do come in off screen and make sure I get these at all adhered down. But yeah, it's just Sam through the years. It's him as a baby. My mom's holding him. He's at the pumpkin farm, or the pumpkin patch and start on several of the pictures. He's building his um, 
Pinewood Derby car. He's doing like little homework. He's in his pajamas. We're at the arch. It's Halloween. I mean, there's a whole bunch of things here. So I figured it worked. I'm going to get that one in so that I know um, that it's not going to cut Sam off when I cut the, the page. Just go ahead and trim that off. So how do you guys like the class so far? Uh, we are in week three. It is an eight week series and I'm having fun. Like it is definitely for me getting back to the basics. And like on this, the first layout every week is killing me because you know I'm not, I'm like throw everything at it, right? Grab the kitchen sink if you can. So, but I'm really enjoying it and I love seeing all that you guys are creating. You guys are in inspiring me and I know other people and I love reading all the beautiful, wonderful, nice comments that everyone is leaving for each other. That is what our little community is about. Support and kindness. I just popped these two little whale stickers on. I do have this little, this was from a kit somewhere along the line and I'm going to try to use what I can. Um, I really love stash diving. I love my new collections, but I love stash diving too. So this, what this today's layout was all about is a little stash diving. I put a little trucks and cars and dump trucks and all kinds of things on. Um, I am going to come in with these little dinosaur footprints um, because my son, when he was younger, absolutely loved dinosaurs. Like I think most little boys do. I'm not real sure. But yeah, so just get those on the layout as well. So it goes to show you that you really don't need a theme. You just kind of throw some stuff on here and the layout actually turns out really good in the end. Um, I'm going to use this little piggy one too because one of them, he was at a little pig thing. You know, I know it and it's cool. So uh, I am going to take a, a green pen to pull some green from the background paper and that whale is green. Um, just to pull that to the forefront, do my journaling and then my favorite thing to do these days, that's right sketchy line one sketchy line around the border just to kind of and I'm only gonna do it on the white pattern paper um, I do come in with these gems these are half gems and they're sticky and they're like border strips I guess but I just rip them apart and just sprinkle those around the page just to give a little bit bling and just a smidge of dimension to the layout. Since it's simple, we don't want to get crazy with foam tape and such. So I just, you know, I pop them on the pictures. I pop them around the pictures. Just trying to make sure that I don't go at the rear of an animal because I don't want it to look like something else. I get those all down and here I come back in with my green pen and draw one sketchy line all around the white. I am trying, this is, it's 4th of July weekend here. It's a Saturday before, and I'm trying to get as much as I can get done in this uh, extended weekend for us here in the United States, um, because I, like less than two weeks, I'll be in Florida. So I wanna make sure I have all my videos done. I am just trying to find the center, because I am simply going to title this Samuel. So I just wanna make sure that I find the center, and why I grabbed an A, because I was thinking Sam, S-A-M. <laughs> And A is the middle, right? But I want to do Samuel. So um, after I get the M and the U down, um, they are wonky and they are seriously stuck. I also don't have an E. So I'm going to take an F and cut a J and we're going to make that into an E. Um, I ended up accidentally ordering like several of these stickers or these, they're like epoxy letters from Michaels a long time ago. And I always forget to use them. <laughs> so I do a wonky Samuel up there. And that's going to do it for my layout, guys. Give me a thumbs up if you like the layout. Don't forget to head on over to that Facebook group. And I'll see you tomorrow for the second layout. Bye.